Hey sis. Y'all like the brows? I'ma come in a little closer. Don't worry. Don't worry, sis. I'ma I'm gonna give you a show. Just you ready? You you ready? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I've never done um brows like this before. I've done two tone brows, but not reverse brow colors in the front. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyways, the palette. So this is the palette that I will be reviewing. Isn't she pretty? Look at this holographic, it's so pretty. So this is by Beauty Bay. This is the Book of Magic palette. There she is. Ooh. She's so pretty. Okay, for the brows, I used Sorcery and Elixir. Ooh, I like those names. So this one is Sorcery. And this one is elixir and for the pencils to carve out my brow i used um la girls shockwave neon eyeliners in vivid and electric so vivid and electric and it came out cute so i really like this oh i can't wait so i think i want to do one eye purple and one eye blue i'm not too sure like i was thinking about it last night but i'm like mm, i don't know how that's gonna look but girl just wait and see you, you know i'm you know i do what to do don't play with me put some respect on my name don't play with me okay so the first look was a fail i um yeah just look at the silver it's like totally destroyed what is it? Sorcery, Elixir, and Hex. Hex is the black. They were not blending well together. And this, um, what is it called? Moonlight, which is this silver metallic. It did not want to, like, pick up on the brush. And it's very, very chunky. And it's hard to, um, like, smooth down. Because when I was, because I did a cut crease. But, I mean, y'all won't see that because it was a fail. When I did, um use moonlight to like get right up on that cut crease that line it wouldn't stick so now i was trying to like press it into my eyelid and it was smearing my cut crease and it was making it look really bad so i had to go back and forth between sorcery elixir and hex to try and fix it but it ended up looking really bad and then hex started flaking off like it wasn't sticking to my eyelid anymore even though i had plenty of eye base down as y'all can see I put down plenty of eye, um, eyeshadow base so I'm having to rethink what I'm gonna do so yeah I was just forewarning you but they're all really pigmented they're super super pigmented but the three matte eyeshadows it was ma it's mainly hex hex did not want to blend into the blue and the purple but the blue and the purple blend very well together and then moon moonlight the shimmer, I don't know about her. She, we don't like each other right now. But I'm going to figure it out. And then I'm going to come back and I'll show y'all what we fit to do. Okay, bye girl. <laughs> not my worst but yeah I have put a major dent in this um, moonlight eyeshadow I don't know if you can see that's the pan right there um well, <laughs> I was so looking forward to this palette and I didn't realize that as you can see the shimmers are also mushy this is kind of like that same formula that was in the tropical twilight palette that i just reviewed yeah so but at least with that palette those shimmers those mushy shimmers would actually like stick and like 
smooth out really nice. Moonlight is very, very chunky and you have to apply quite a bit of pressure to get it to flatten out, like smooth out. And it's kind of like not, it's silver, but you can definitely see purple in it. And it just, it's a mess y'all, but I'm going to keep pushing forward with it and try to continue to make the best of it. So don't judge me on this look. Maybe the next look, uh, hopefully the next look will be better, but don't judge me. J judge your mama, okay? y'all can see you can see right here these two eyeshadows are not layering well this is amulet and manifest manifest is the current eyeshadow that i'm using it's the darker one right here and it is not laying well right here at all i don't know i, don't, I guess maybe i should add more primer to it but it is not blending well. And I figured that these eyeshadows would be a little bit darker because they are they seem to be darker in the pan, but like when I put it when I apply them, they don't they're not that dark. Mm, maybe it's just me, but eh. words she did that you're welcome oh <sighs> this looks so pretty now it was a journey to get here but let's discuss so the palette 
I like the palette. I had higher hopes for it because I watched several um, reviews for this palette and they all gave it good reviews. They all loved it. They said it was worth the money. And being that this is, um, I bought three palettes from Beauty Bay. Uh, being that this is like my first palette ever from Beauty Bay, I was expecting a lot better um, because I genuinely wanted to try Beauty Bay and they're um, in the UK. So I had to wait a while to get it. So, you know, the anticipation was building and to be kind of sort of let down. Now let's discuss. So, um, once again, this mushy shimmer formula right here, I don't know if you can see, but I hit pan because it's a mushy, um, so you can see right here, it's mushy, uh, shimmer formula. I hope that this is not going to be like a new thing that companies are going to do because I really don't like this type of shimmer eyeshadow. It is not my favorite at all and it is creasing really bad on my eyelids. Especially for someone like me, for, for people like me who have hooded eyes, we have that extra skin fold and a wet shimmer eyeshadow like that is just going to crease like there's no tomorrow. So it is not my favorite um, formula. I don't think the other shimmers in this palette are like this, but um, y'all saw in my previous tutorial Moonlight is definitely one of those uh, mushy shimmer uh, formulas. Um, the mattes in this palette are pigmented. They're very, very pigmented. But some of them don't blend well together. And that was a struggle with um, these two. Brown, how y'all mess up brown? <laughs> but um, yeah, so I was thinking that Amulet, which is the lighter brown, and Manifest, which is this dark brown right here, we're going to be like darker on my eyelid, but it was, they were very light. Like you can, I mean, that's not that if you compare, like, I just think like it doesn't match to me in my opinion, but overall the look was, you know, achieved. It's there. It's on my face, but I was just expecting a little bit um, better from this palette because I was anticipating so much from it and I don't have a color story like this in the palette so I was really really looking forward to it but I am interested in getting into like these greens here and y'all know I love blue eyeshadow so I'm definitely interested in using these bottom two right here but overall I say it is worth the money but spend with caution I would say choose wisely um <clears throat> I have two other Beauty Bay palettes that I have to review, and I'm hoping that they will be a lot better than this palette, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's it for the review. I know, y'all get so sad at the end of my videos because you just wanted to keep going and going and going because I am that what? That girl. Yes, ma'am. But is it. That's all I can give you for right now. Check out another video. I'm sure they've been popping up. Until then, mind your business, stay in your lane, black lives matter, wear your mask, drink water, and you better be taking the vitamins. <laughs>